Managing your team's Google Drive is a time-consuming task. Creating documents, updating records, correctly storing files. These tasks take way more time than they should and we all tend to get lazy. Luckily, SmartSuite offers a native integration with Google Drive that can help make this process easier. And when using automation tools like Make or Zapier, there's so much you can do to automate everything from documents to presentations. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. Now, in this video, we'll learn how you can connect SmartSuite to Google Drive to put particular tasks on autopilot and save your team time, allowing them to focus on the more important things. Let's go with a simple example, a service-based business. Here, I've got the customer support solution and within it, the accounts table. Now, when a status goes to onboarding, we want to share with the client some specific files from our Google Drive. So let's quickly look at the native integration. So from your solution in SmartSuite, select this drop-down menu here and then select automations. From here, if you haven't created an automation yet, you'll see this pop-up. So we'll go create my first automation. Now we'll need to select the trigger event. What launches this automation? Well, we know that when a record is updated with the status onboarding. So we'll select that, then we're going to select or ensure that the table accounts is selected. Now let's add our condition, which is when the status or where the status is equal to onboarding. This automation runs. Next, let's add the action. So we'll select that. And if we scroll down, now up here, we'll notice that we can create actions or trigger actions to occur in SmartSuite, but we want to connect to Google Drive. So scroll down and underneath integrations, you'll see the apps that we can natively connect SmartSuite with. So we'll select Google Drive here and we see we've got the action to upload a file. So let's select that. Then we'll need to select our Google Drive account. You will need to connect this to SmartSuite. So go ahead and do that. Just select the add new Google Drive credential here. And then once you are connected, you'll be able to select which folder you upload a file in. I'm going to select my clients folder and the file that you upload to Google Drive. Now, these are solely related to files or fields within your smart suite. So currently we have the account files and the logo, but while this is all good, we want to do more with Google Drive. Rather than just uploading a file to a folder, what about creating a document, a presentation, or updating our records in Google Spreadsheets? Let's take a look. We'll be using a platform called Zapier. Now this is possible with other automation tools like Make, NAN, or Pipedream, but Zapier is definitely one of the easiest for you to dive into and get introduced to automations with. So we're going to close this and we're going to take a look at Zapier. We'll jump up here. This is the Zapier dashboard. Now an automated workflow within Zapier is called a Zap. So let's create one. We're going to select up here, create Zap. Now within any automated workflow, we have a trigger event. Then we have the actions. We know that the trigger event is when the status changes to onboarding. What we could do is lean on Zapier's co-pilot, prompt it like we would ChatGPT or Claude to create a templatized version of this automated workflow for us. But let's take a look at building this from scratch. So we're gonna select the trigger event and we're going to search for, you guessed it, SmartSuite. We'll select the app there and then you'll be prompted to add your SmartSuite account over here. Go ahead, authorize, give a permission and then follow me. So firstly, we'll need to select the trigger event, which is going to be when a record is updated, when that status has changed. So we'll select that, we'll click continue and then we'll need to select the solution and the table. If we just quickly jump over, we know it's the Acme customer support solution and the accounts table. So we'll select solution. Let's just search for it, Acme customer support. And that table is accounts. Then we'll need to actually pull in some data from that smart suite table. So we'll test this trigger and this is going to pull through some records from your solution. So we've got the A record, we can see here the status is good standing. We got the B record. We can see here the status is at risk. And the C record we can see is onboarding. So let's go with onboarding. Now the reason we want to use this is because conditionally, this automated workflow should only be running 
when the status is onboarding. So there's not really much use in us selecting a record with at risk because when we test this, it's not gonna work, is it? So we'll select record C, onboarding, and we'll continue with that selected record. Now we need to select what action occurs after the status has changed to onboarding. Well, we can go through Google Drive, select that, and then we'll notice the action events. Of course, you'll need to add your account, but let's just quickly look. We've got add file sharing preference, copy file, create file from text, create folder, shortcut, and quite a few more. Update file, folder name, upload file. Now, using the Google Drive Action app is great for when you want to update folders or better organize and store your files. If we want to create documents, presentations, update Google Sheets, then we should specifically use each of those individual tools. So let's look at creating a Google Doc from a template. We'll remove this and we'll actually instead use the Google Doc action event. So let's search for Google Docs. We'll select it there. You'll need to add your account, go ahead and then follow me. So for the action event, we'll see what options we have available, but we want to create a document from template. There's quite a few here, have a look, but let's go with create document from template. If we jump into a Google Drive here, we can see I've got my company, the Acme Co Google Drive. I've got accounting, clients, HR and marketing. We're working with our clients, so let's jump in there. Here we can see we've got some docs, a spreadsheet and a presentation. Now, this is a welcome packet. Each individual account or client should be receiving this when they jump into onboarding. We can see here we've got some placeholders. We've got company, we've got client name, and we've got sales. Basically, we want to dynamically populate this with the correct data from our smart suite record. The company should be replaced with the company of our account. The welcome, that's the client name. And we should also be sharing who's actually looking after, who's the account owner. So let's jump into Zapier and see how we can set this up. We will want to select continue to actually begin configuring this step. And we'll notice here we've got the template document field. So let's select our template document. We notice we've got the template welcome packet. So we'll select that. And next we'll need to select the document name. But firstly, we'll notice some new fields became available. We've got company, client name, and sales. And those are those placeholders that we just talked about. So let's take a look at merging our Smart Suite data to our Google Doc or a Google Doc template. So we're going to select the document name. Let's call it Welcome Packet 4. Then to pull in our data from Smart Suite, we'll select this icon and we'll just use the account name. Welcome Packet 4 account name. This will dynamically update depending on which client the automated workflow is working with. Then we've got the sharing preference. Ah, first the folder. Let's actually ensure that we are selecting Acme Co and clients. Yep, so that'll actually land in our client's Google Drive folder. Then the sharing preference, we'll set this so that anyone with link can view because later in the automated workflow, I probably want to include a step that actually sends this Google Doc directly to the client. So they want to have access straight away. Shouldn't be requesting it. All right, now let's look at those placeholders. We've got company. Simple, let's replace that with the company or the account name. The client name, we actually have a contact here, Christy. And the sales, well, that's gonna be the account owner or the person on my team looking after this client. So we should have here, account owner and continue. Next, all we need to do is test this step and make sure that it is correctly working. That data is correctly replacing those placeholders and it's correctly being created in our client Google Drive folder. So we're running the test and here we can see the test has been a success. Let's jump into our Google Drive and here we can see a new Google Doc has been created. Let's open that bad boy. It's called Welcome Packet for Swinging Cradle. We just quickly take a look, Swinging Cradle, onboarding. We've got the welcome to the contact name, but let's continue. From here, we can publish this automated workflow, but let's have a look at what else we can achieve. From there, you might want to actually directly send this to your client. Now, you might use Slack, you might use Gmail, you'll want to search for the app, ensure that you're connecting your account 
Choose the action event. For this, it would be send email. And then follow the steps through there to actually select who you're sending it to. You'll also want to attach the newly created Google document or include it as a link in the body of the email. But let's look at updating our client tracker. Here we are. So we'll jump back into Zapier and I'll just quickly delete that. And then we're going to add a step for Google Sheets. So make sure that your account is connected and then follow along. I need to select the action event. I'm going to select create spreadsheet row. Now, once you've connected your account, once you've selected the action event, time to configure it. So we'll select continue. You'll need to select the drive. I'm just gonna select my Google Drive. The spreadsheet is client tracker and the worksheet is just sheet one as we can see there. So let's select this. All right, now those columns have become visible. First name, last name, title. If we quickly jump over, first name, last name, title, so on. As I said, I can't fill these, but we'll just quickly pull in some data from our record. I'll just use the account name. Uh, company, again, we'll just use the account name. Um, and then I'll just select for sales team, that account owner. So I'll just quickly search account owner and we'll leave that as it is. Continue, test your step to make sure it's working as expected. There we go. If we jump into the client tracker, there we can see updated, super easy. Now we've looked at creating a Google doc, updating a spreadsheet. What about a presentation? More often than not, you're having meetings, you're giving presentations to your clients. What about getting a head start on those presentations? So if we look at our Google Drive, we can see here that we've got the client presentation. And all I've done is I've included the title here, presentation for company. It's the same process of using those placeholders in order to bring data from your smart suite over into a Google slide. So we'll jump into the zap. We'll add another step. We'll search for Google slides this time. We'll select that bad boy. Then you'll need to connect your account. I've just got to select mine, there we go. And the action event, we're going to create a presentation from template again. Then it's time to configure this step. Firstly, selecting the title of the new presentation. So we'll just say, whoops, presentation four, and then pull in that account name as we're doing. Is this shared? This is the same as those with a link can view. So we'll go with true because we want to send this to our client straight away, or perhaps you want to include a step so that when the presentation is created, it's sent to a team member and then they can begin editing it from there, giving them a head start. And the template presentation, which is the client presentation. We've got two of them. I think it is the, let's see, we've got one L4. Now, if you're ever unsure of which one to select, look at the ID here, we've got one L4. So if we jump into that, up here in the address browser bar, we can see it's the right one, 1L4. We'll jump back, we'll select that one, and then it will bring the placeholder in, company. So all we need to do, again, we'll select account name, just for the example of this video, continue, test the step, and there we can see presentation for swing and cradle. If you're happy with your automated workflow and you want it to go live, all you need to do is select publish. Now, anytime in SmartSuite an account status is made onboarding, it'll automatically generate a Google Doc from a template, it will update your client tracker, and it will generate a Google Slides presentation, saving you and your team so much time. If you need help automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.